Discord server. Discord server. Discord server. Discord server. You heard the diarrhea, women. I now have a Discord server. It's a brand new server made for me to start a community around my channel, so feel free to join. We promise we won't say slurs. Maybe. Eisenberg's Birdhouse. Server link is in the description. The ultimate inventor. Um, I've never heard of you. <laughs> so what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep. Even ones that let you eat while you sleep. What about sleep while you sleep? Why does everything involve sleeping? I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> Though, this one time I invented these really big, stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> Psh, your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure. Just like you, too. Actually. Actually, the, the sleeping... Uh, inventions probably are more helpful. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do-stuff-while-sleeping inventions. Um. By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. What was that? Eh, you a dumbass. In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Ah, a druggie. Huh? Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling sick? No, she's gonna... <sighs> No, idiot. I need strong meds because I want to trip my fucking balls off. Ah! Alright. Like I said, I don't exactly remember what happened uh, in the intro. <sighs> I just want to set my mind free and forget about the city shitty situation. Oh, what? You can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. Yeah, you can, but you shouldn't. <laughs> What the hell? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. This place doesn't even have the- probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey-goosey. <clears throat> Are you done being mad at me? No. They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. Alright. Mew. What's up with Shuichi? He's been quiet ever since Miyu mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? Alright. Well, time to go meet some other weirdos. Oh, you know what? I th there's a classroom down here somewhere. With some weirdos. Maybe it's down this way. I don't think there's anyone in the bathroom to meet. I think this was it right here. Classroom A. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. This guy. Hey! Please stop. Don't come any closer. That boy in white is chasing the, uh, that other boy in funny clothes. What is happening here? Alright, um... Oh, this was the ultimate robot. Please stop. Don't come any closer. <laughs> come on, wait up. Let me touch your body a little. Okay, hold on. Now, wait a minute. Huh? A robot? This guy's trying to molest a robot. What is it? Are you another robophobe? That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Alright, you know what? Breaking news. Heisenberg is now a robophobe. Yep. Fuck this guy. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. Are, are you one of the mono cubs? Please stop! Don't compare me to these toys. Those toys. I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0. The ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiva. 
I'm gonna come up with a slur for robots. Um. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. Supreme leader, huh? Oh right, isn't this guy a cult leader? By the, the way. Fuck. I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. Bullshit. Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I'm a high school student just like you. Huh? You're a high school student. Yeah. I was created by Professor Itabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But... But the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things, until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand before you all. See, hey. I'm just like everyone else. Hey, do robots have dicks? Hey. That's, that is the question we all need to know. <laughs> Your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. Sheesh. Well, now I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Um. Hey, Kokichi, I don't understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Ah. Oh, evil secret organization. Huh? Um. I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil secret organization? Because I'm a liar. Huh? So you were lying just now? It's true. Jeez. So were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hey. What was the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. But... but I've never heard of such a large organization that's secret like that. Maybe. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Jeez. Damn. Hey, everything you said so far sounded like a lie, so that's got to be a lie too, right? Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. He's got a point. <laughs> you mad, bro? Cope. Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? You can't. I don't have that function. Aw, oh. oh, man, you're boring. You're a weird boy. He's a mischievous little kid. There's no time to be joking around, unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Yeah. Kokichi and Kibo. All right. So I think at this point, I don't, I haven't met anyone else. I'm pretty sure. Is there a way I can look at the map? Man, I see Monokuma lurking back there in the screen, but he he won't. Come here, Monokuma. Save me from these mono morphin Power Rangers. Oh, review the layout. Uh... Okay. Um. Entrance. There's no one there. Warehouse. Dining hall. I've met all those fools. Some of these some of these guys aren't even showing up. Whatever. Goes down to the basement. Shuichi. Yes, go down. I don't know. Uh, the basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. That's right. Let's proceed with caution, with you at the front. Okay. Ah, so I'm in front. I see. Gotta gotta go clearing rooms. I'm definitely not also on my phone. While I'm playing this game, it doesn't look very dangerous to me. Really? Oh well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. I see. Ah yes, 
You have quite the imagination, don't you? No. No, I just don't think you're considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we should look around the basement, too. Right? Huh, there might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Well, I know there's a couple motherfuckers in here. Firestone, okay. The game room. More like the gay room, ha ha ha. Oh, actually, this room's not gay. Huh? Oh, this guy. <sighs> Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? Oh, I'm sorry. Have... I've been in a few schools that have had video game clubs. Well. It certainly is strange. Mega. What now? No fucking way. Um. This dude does not have a deep ass. Still got a ways to go. Oh my god. Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Yeah. Okay. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here <laughs> compared to prison. Any? Anyway. Have you been to prison? Huh? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? It's an old story. <laughs> this guy's been to prison, and he made it out. Ryoma Hoshi. The man called the ultimate tennis pro no longer exists. The ultimate tennis pro? I'm nothing more than his empty shell. What the fuck? What did you do? What did this guy do? R really? I've seen you in the newspaper. What did this dude do to go to prison? He, this guy's gotta be, like, hardcore. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia? Huh? What the hell? Okay, I'm not fucking around with this guy. I remember correctly. He shot him through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. What the fuck? <laughs> so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before who used his, who used his talent to kill? But why would you throw away your future like that? Because I don't need a future anymore. Huh? No. No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. More importantly. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. I am not fucking around with this guy. Holy shit. Golly. Sliding door. What's in here? Okay, nothing yet. God damn. Yeah. Oof. Alright. Anyway. <laughs> yes, I would very much like to leave, please. I'm sorry for comparing you to that, uh... That puppet from Emily Wants to Play. I, I apologize profusely. Don't use your tennis skills to kill me with an iron ball. Jesus Christ. I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Is this a library? No shit. You're right. There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a need freak, Shuichi? No. No, it's just I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Someone? No. That's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Do I want- I, I don't want to investigate everything, though. That's way too tedious. Fuck that. Let's talk to this girl. Hey. Okay. Um, are you an ultimate student, too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Alright. Huh? Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm... I'm Shuichi... Wow. Saihara. And I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez. She's not supposed you are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um. 
Nobody in this school is likable. Except for the guy that forgot his talent. Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Wow, you sure sound like it. The ultimate child caregiver? So you're the ultimate babysitter? Surprised? I don't look like someone who would like kids, do I? No. Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Okay, I do like this girl. Um. But but if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Okay, I definitely mm -hmm. like this girl. Maki? Yes, sir. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably tell how, you, how loving you really are, Maki. Has she murdered children? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. It's just, I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Um. Ah, oh, by the way, do you know anything about the monocubs? We're not talking about that right now. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <clears throat> no. Oh, fair point. Hmm, the monocubs are definitely involved in our situation. Mm -hmm. Hey, boy detective. Shouldn't you all... Shouldn't you have all figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well... Seriously? You think we can ex escape? Escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together? With strangers? You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Alright. I'm rooting for Maki. Oh, bye. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. Hey, an enemy of an enemy is a friend. Anyway. Okay, I guess I'll... Alright, that was pointless. Anyway. Alright, who else do I have to meet? It... That's... Okay, that's the end of the basement. That's the game room. It's gonna take a while for me to memorize everyone's fucking name. I'm pretty sure. Oh. What the hell? Alright. So what's through here? Oh, is this the entrance hall? Yep. Right, Shuichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Y yeah, I suppose so. Okay. <laughs> Which means... Which means we're going to be banished to the south. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through, we can escape this place, right? No. W wait. I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not work. Who the hell? The ultimate fucking imperial Japanese soldier? Bro, why's he got a... Oh. I see. Alright. He's got to be able to breathe through his mask. He's already examined the door. He's the ultimate soldier, isn't he? Yes. You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Karekio Shinguji. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Oh, never mind. I was very wrong. Kodakio what? Kodakio anthropologist? Please, call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. I don't remember what that was. Studies, customs, legends, folktale songs. Oh, okay. 
There might even be a customs in your there might even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Well, um In that case you'd be studying heavy drinking. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs uh, such as those through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. oh, I sort of get it, but not really. Sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It's a study focused on humanity. Okay, why the fuck are you dressed up like a soldier like this? That has nothing to do with anthropology. And why does he have a Smash Bros. fucking armband? Is that a... Like... Are the Smash Brothers fascists now? Is that a fascist group? Beautiful. Okay, now you're weird. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Um. He's definitely gonna kill someone, too. I... I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Alright, Keo and the witch girl, or the mage, they're gonna be killers. I know Witch Girl's gonna be a killer for sure. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? The beauty of death? Humanity is beautiful. Ah, uh, mm, eh, eh. I always got a skinny ass neck, too. This guy looks like a creep, and as it turns out, he is one, too. Anyway, can we go outside if we just go through these doors? Wow, alright, I fucked that up. You should find the answers to such questions on your own. Oh, I'm shaking my monitor. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Sh shattered? What does he mean by that? And don't? Okay. Sure. Have we met everyone yet? No, who's this? No, oh, that's Sh Shuichi. Do I want to open that door? Alright, who... <clears throat> who have we not met yet? Okay, Himiko. She's gonna be a killer. Yeah, I really like this girl right here. Tenko. She's weird. I think this girl I like too. Eva foam? I don't know what that is. Does that have something to do with Evangelion? Children's television. Okay, she's just a bitch. That's Shuichi. Russian blue. Okay, yeah, I'm... He dislikes white tip reef sharks? What the fuck does that even mean? That, that is so specific. Yeah, I don't like white tip reef sharks. Uh, <laughs> also, he's three foot five. Oh boy. Extraterritorial rights. Dislikes cars. This guy's pretty cool. I like him. This, uh, he's also weird. I don't like this guy's mask. Did we meet? Oh, we met everybody, haven't we? Right? Oh, wait. Oh, no. We need to meet four more people. Alright, we got four more people we gotta meet. So, I... Oh, I should look at the map, actually. Okay. Um... So... There's not more shit on the second floor, right? Okay, maybe I should just try to go through the door. Alright. Entrance door. Shuichi. Oh, here we go. Ah, jeez, this isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I gotta move forward. 
Are you okay? Kakai day. Of course. Let's go, Shuichi. I psyched myself up and with newfound strength walked boldly towards <gasps> the doors. Shit. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and... Oh, shit. A, a cage? A wall? Oh, we can actually go outside now? Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. Oh. Wait. Why did I completely forget Danganronpa 2 was all outside? <laughs> it was a fucking island. <clears throat> Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of this of its imposing presence was enough to save send waves of panic through me when the Trump wall was built. <laughs> no matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? On. That's actually pretty impressive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get the... I don't care what they have to say. Yeah, all this is new, by the way. For me. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. <sighs> the first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Wow! <laughs> but it's so awesomely huge. I can see why it's called the end wall. The end wall. Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? What? Hmm? What were we talking about? Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is, so please don't bother. Okay, cool. You can't get out of here. That wall has no entrances or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually... An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. But they can still sort of climb it, though. I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! Please help us. Uh -oh. Someone, anyone, please help us. We're trapped inside this huge cage. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Uh-oh. Stop, Stop, you'll hurt your throat. That's right. Yeah, scream all you like. No one can hear you anyway. No one can hear us? What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Say something. Hey. One of you, just answer. Damn it. Well, not him. Monodum is ignoring them excellently, because he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> you think my fearsome bullying for making... You can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. <sighs> Jesus. Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass. Shut up, we're the Mono Cubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. But what's this? You things. This school. What is all this? You'll, you bastards will have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourselves. But please watch your step while you explore. This school is still under construction. What do you mean? It already looks abandoned. Oh, that's what... Oh, uh, okay. So that's what we unlock after each class trial, I guess. It looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Okay. No. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Oh. Either way, the construction will finish soon as soon once we set the exisles on autopilot. The exisles. Once part of a biker gang, the exisles now work construction to support their wives and kids. You mean the fucking Ruin Guardian bastards? Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Um, Your steering wheels are leopard print, and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. Okay. Stupid. Interesting. Seriously, knock it off, you guys. They sound like douchebags with stories like those. 
Yes, go away. I see the dormitories. Oh, there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape? We can't go over that wall? And no one's coming to rescue us? Well, you're shit out of luck, huh? Oh, but if I give up now, then what? I slap both of my- Oh, now they sound like cheeks. Hey. hey, Shuichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. No shot. I slapped him upside his head, just firm enough to get his attention. Ow. You know? Shuichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't just give up because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, yeah. somehow. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Okay. Oh, well, I see someone over there already. Alright, so... Now if I look at the map, I should have an exterior. Yeah, the courtyard. Okay. So, oh, and everyone is out here. Front entrance, plaza in front of large stairs. Okay. Then the dorms. Ultimate Inventors Lab. Okay. And Shrine of Judgment. Cool. That couldn't possibly go wrong. Off we go to this guy. How do they even make this big ass wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. Hey. I wonder what will happen now. If we can't escape, then what? Are you complaining? Huh? Listen up. Quit complaining and grumbling, or it'll turn into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Oh, God. Um. Oh, boy. Huh? The universe? Got it. Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. <laughs> This guy kind of gives some Gundam vibes. The guy from the last game, not Gundam the robots. Never been to space. Ha, huh, well, of course. Not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. How are you the ultimate astronaut, then? I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. Oh, that's why. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Yeah. Then how'd you take it? I had a friend who's pretty crafty, so I had to forge some stuff for him. Oh, That's illegal! Yeah. yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit. But the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course, I aced the exam, too. Jeez. That's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait till after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. But... Sure have a lot of energy. How do you forge that many documents, too? You forged a college degree? You forged probably your IDs and shit? And high school diploma? Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible. But I never gave up. Not for a moment. Yeah, I committed crimes to get up there. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. And by the law... There are no wells you can't get over. Same goes for that one. Could it be... You have any ideas? Th that's not the problem. Uh, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks like a big gang. <laughs> Kaito's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Okay. Now what the fuck are these? Oh, they look like quadcons. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going in the dorms. These better be some... Nope, it looks like a prison. This building is round and has a lot smaller rooms inside. It's really not... We're intruding. Yes, you are. Please. What is it this time? What do you mean by intruding? 
Because this is your home, you bastards. <laughs> you know what? If you do that, I don't judge. Why don't they just use the toilets? Even for number two. Uh, yeah, it's waffle stomping. Ew, that's gross. So long, Can I get out of here? Um, what do you mean, our home? Could it be? They mean for us to live here. See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us? Stop it. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Oh, well, that's not how that's gonna work. Now, who is this? I failed to see their objective. Um, huh? What do you mean? How? If they're holding us for a ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I failed to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? Never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? Why indeed? 16 ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me. I have not introduced myself yet. Is she going to be cool? I am Hirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Okay. She's probably going to be cool. I see. Wow. The ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Ah, oh. Oh, wait. I I've heard of Kirumi Tojo. If I remember correctly, an ultimate with incredible intellect and strength, working as a private maid. I heard her work is so perfect, she can complete any request given to her. Huh? What? She's that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you're exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. That's true. I've also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign dignitaries. I do not agree. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. Yeah, that... Yeah, that would be why she's called the ultimate maid. Anyway, moving on. What do you intend to do now? Hmm. That's a tough question. Um, what should we do? Um, what would you do, Hirumi? I do not agree. I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. So please, think about what you desire for yourself, and what you desire from me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I'm here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she's the ultimate maid after all. Alright. I feel like she's probably gonna kill someone. Okay. Okay, that's all for in there. And then there's like the ultimate shrine or whatever. Or what's over here? I can't go there yet. Okay. Let's look at the map again. So Oh, I can teleport. Okay. So I'll just do that. Alright, so... What the fuck is this? Is this a ninja statue? It looks like one. But why is this here? Seriously, there are so many odd things. I know there's a... Right here. You look like... Yeah. So big and muscular. Um. Excuse me. Huh? Thank you. Alright. Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Um. Sorry for scaring. Gone to scary looking. Most people will not want to talk to Gonta, Gonta when meeting for first time. Cause Gonta, gentlemen. So, like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. 
He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh! Oh, right. Gonta need to make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Uh, Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. He's not... Yeah. Alright, what's up with the speech impediment? That's a really cute name. Thank you. Aw, oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. Oh, going to scary looking, huh? Sorry. That's not what I... No. It's okay. Going to used to it. Going to called scary since he was kid. Um. Since you were a kid, huh? You used to be a kid? No way. Oh, going to see. Kid going to bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. So going to play alone. That's how going to came to like bugs. But when Gonta really focus, it's easy to lose track. One day, when Gonta go to forest to find bugs, end up lost, end up eating bug. I see. That sounds pretty rough. Are they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah, it took ten years though. Huh? All right, Tarzan. Fuck. But. New family took care of Gonta. Hmm. Oh, I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Um... Oh, yep. Here we go. How are you? Okay. Okay, that that explains it. You're just fucking Tarzan. But, but they really nice. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. Going to learn to speak bug and animal. Gonta. As things, going to want to show Force Family what great gentleman Gonta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of bug blood, but do plants no bugs. Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable there are no animals, but no insects? That's strange. Not even one bug. You like bugs too? Amazing. Oh no. Hey, what's your favorite bug? What you like about them? Uh, no, no, I wasn't saying they like bugs or anything. Wait. Did you hate bugs? This guy's got the fucking... Huh. Yep. He's got the Izuru Kamakura hair going on. Huh? What? But how? But you, you hate bugs! Uh oh. That's not true. Um, you don't hate bugs, you love them, right, Shuichi? Uh, okay. it, yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Thank goodness. Oh, okay. That good. No bad person likes bugs. Okay. <sighs> that was scary. Ooh, yeah. They're gonna die. <sighs> I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Yeah, somebody, somebody's gonna say that they hate bugs and he's gonna fucking murk them. He's gonna go off the deep end. Anyway. So this was some short, some doy, oh my god. Woo! Hard to speak today. And I think this is the last one that I have to talk to. Yeah I don't trust that face. You remind me of the other bitch from last game. My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. You also sound like Celeste. You sound like Celeste and you look like the traditional dancer girl. I forgot her name. Why did I forget her name? You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy now, considering the situation we're in right now. I don't know what- Hyoko! She really reminds me of Hyoko. There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. Mmm, she's gonna be annoying. So says Atua. Who's that? Huh? Who the fuck is that? The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, she's certainly devout. Um. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh... Hmm, I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. Okay, good for you. But Atu is the one who makes the art. I merely offer him- Okay, yeah, she's a weirdo. So Why do you have a hammer? I see. Oh, sculpt. Yeah, art. Yep. 
I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? Um, an offering. Uh... Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That oddly sounds familiar, <laughs> similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... but don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. What about you, then? Huh? Me? Uh, yep. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on! This won't hurt one bit. Somehow I doubt that. Uh. Ah, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't run away. This girl is so weird. You don't fucking say. Alright, she's the last one, I think. So now there's got to be some shit that happens. Here we go. Huh? Is that the bell? Oh. Kaede, look, the monitor. Thanks for pairing with us! You bastards! Kept your bastards All waiting, right. huh? Everyone make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> the opening ceremony can finally begin. Yeah. We finally finished our preparations. You do realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? Alright. Well, that's cool. Jim, opening ceremony. Kaede, what should we do? What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. True, but I'm a little worried about this. I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Alright. So, I think we can just teleport to the gym. I believe we can just teleport. Yep. I don't want to walk all the way over there. So, I'm going to fast travel. I think this is this. Okay. Wait, where's the gym? Where's the gym? Um. Wait. Where's the goddamn gym? Oh, that way. This way. This looks right. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> oh right, we were here before. Do you agree? So all sixteen of us have gathered. Mm. Mm. It's pretty spectacular seeing all sixteen of us ultimates gathered together. <laughs> I don't like that. You may not be able to be so easy going for much longer. In this situation, it's no use thinking about things. So eventually, Tsumugi stopped thinking. <laughs> yeah, what's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. What? What are you looking at? Go. You can use your amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff, right? No, that's it's not how that magic. works. I'm not a psychic, I'm a mage. Ah! Whoa, that's amazing. Sorry. I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido. Hey, what sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? <laughs> Talking about it is too tiring. You're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me. Shut up, you. But we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Yeah, you would say that, you metal-suited fuck. Please don't. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. Atua will protect us. Goodness. <laughs> Fucking moron! <laughs> Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll whack him out of that skull of yours. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. Those teddy bears show themselves again. I'll kick all their asses. Wonder... Huh? What that? What's wrong? See? Listen, hear that? Huh? I think it sounds like a engine or from a robot anime. 
Ah, here they are. Stop! I hate that. Shut up. Fuck. Oh! Behind Gonta! What, what the heck are these monsters? Skakura! There are Existles, highly mobile bipedal weapons platforms. They got lots of hometown pride too. What are you saying? Man, I keep can't track. I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the Uggos and save me for last. Hey! Run, Himiko. Why are you so concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way. Hmm. Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? Oh. What the hell? Nobody told me about these. It's okay. All right, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they would have done it by now. With that, Rontaro casually walked up to the Existles. Man. So what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt. Means... Well, you have her attention, so what do you want? And that's that. Oh, well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start us off. Listen up. <laughs> Here's what we want you punk asses to do. <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. You ready? Hell yeah! It's a... Say killing game. Killing game. Huh? What? Hey! Monodem, how dare you upstage me? Huh? W wait a second. What did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly... It's a killing game. Oh, he said it again! God damn it, Monodem! I'm gonna crush you with this here Exisle! Come on, we don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here Exisle! You too, Monotaro? If that's what it's come to, then I'll crush the four of you with this here Exisle! What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh, well. It's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. Why? You wanna go, Jabroni? Jabroni. Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni? What'd you say, Jabroni? I'll throw down any time, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! S seriously Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. Um, yeah. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else... Now, now, now! What? My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this... Oh, ball. is he coming? Oh, is he coming? Is he... Is he arriving? Father! Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Is he coming, finally? Yeah. Daddy. Yes. Yes. Oh, here he comes. The boy himself. Yes. Yes. It's the boy himself. Fuck yeah. I am the god of this new world. Monokuma. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The one, the only, Monokuma! Fuck yeah. Nice to meet ya! Yay! Father's here. Hell yeah! I'm shutting this now. Daddy is so cool. Now this feels like Danganronpa. <laughs> the only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute. Eh, well. In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because you cutie patooties weren't there. <clears throat> Are you mad at us? Don't be an idiot. I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. Yeah, he is mad. 
Teddy is still cool even when he's angry. That's right. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that gets cooler as they get angry. Wait, who's the mother? Who's the mother? Who, <laughs> who is Monokuma getting freaky with? It's getting interesting. Super Monokuma. What the hell are these games? Damn. Domestic abuse. Ah, just transformed into a super monokuma god, super monokuma. That's only possible when six monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. I'm still trying to figure out who Monokuma got freaky with and made it's these fuckers. The you bust out when you really want to fuck the world shit up. <laughs> I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. Yo, kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. No way. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but... I can't think of any, though. Is he wearing a Nazi hat? <laughs> 